Todd. I want to send my wife a kiss. So it's that button, uh -huh. and then... Oh, good Lord, she's going to be in shock, that's for sure. <laughs> John, adolescence can be a difficult time. It's normal to be drawn to death and murder, but you can go too far down that road, too far away from normal. What do you say, John? I'm interested in how many times you felt it was necessary to say the word normal. I have rules to keep me normal and to keep everybody else safe. I think about killing a person and just giving them a compliment. You are a really great guy. You're a freak. You have a lot of predictors for serial killer behavior, but you're in control of your own destiny. Todd. Yeah, Mr. Crowley? Oh, it's a beautiful day, John. I'm glad to be alive. A killer has struck, leaving a dead body in a terrified town in his wake. The last thing is telling me it's his mass murderer. You guys worried about going out of business? It's two bodies in a week, it's money in the bank. The first question of psychological profiling is what's the killer doing who doesn't absolutely have to? Well, we're missing a kidney. What if the person who killed him took it? Takes the lungs, takes the kidney. What next? I need to do normal stuff right now. I'm breaking all my rules. I can't imagine what you must be going through. I'm on the edge and I'm falling. Ted Bundy said that after you killed somebody, you know, if you had enough time with them. Shut up! Shut up! And they could be whoever you wanted them to be. You're weird, man.